there yogi welcome to day 25 of the 30 day yoga challenge today we are working on the heart chakra and the affirmation is an easy one it's i love myself well it's easy to say it's a little bit harder to do right so like yesterday's practice day 24 it is going to be a short gentle practice to really give yourself the opportunity to nurture yourself it's easy to say i love myself right but how can you love yourself and show yourself that you do actually care about yourself your well-being and putting yourself first because you know that you can't continue to pour from an empty cup right so today's practice will definitely help you do that we will get into bridge pose and so I'll break that down for you it's a very common pose that you you'll see a lot of times in a yoga class so it's a good one to go over so that you know how to modify for you the Sanskrit is sent Satu Banda Sharvangasana. All right, yogi, find some love for yourself on your mat today and enjoy your practice. Namaste. For today's practice, we'll start on our back. However, you'll need to roll up either the mat that you're using or roll up another mat that you have. Okay, and then place that down behind you. Come down to seated. Have the mat about two inches away from your lower back. So you will keep your booty on the ground. You're not gonna lift that up. Now, as you lower down, tuck the tailbone to lengthen the low back, lay all the way back onto the rolled up mat. Make sure that your head is supported by the mat. You could use a blanket if you don't have a yoga mat. Have your feet wide, knees together with the knees bent up or extend the legs straight out with the feet falling out to the sides, whatever feels better for you. Close your eyes and breathe here. Let the shoulders melt back towards the ground. Eyes closed and just really get connected to the breath today. Really feel the heart space opening as you inhale and then softening over the mat as you exhale, over the rolled up mat. If you tend to hunch a little bit, this is a great, great pose for you to do. You can just do this one. Maybe at night before you go to bed. And slowly roll off of that rolled up mat onto your right hand side. And then slowly push yourself up to seated. Let your head be the last thing to come up. All right, now come into Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Pull the flesh away from the sitting bones. We'll do a mudra that's also pretty easy. I really love this mudra. It's called Lotus Mudra, and it just feels very symbolic to me. So the hands are together, and then you just open up the center of the hands. Okay, you're not spreading the, them apart. You're keeping the pinky edge together and the thumb edge together, and then just ex expanding the fingers and the palms. Place that at your heart center. Breathe deeply. I love myself. Relax the face. I love myself. I love myself. Repeat that a couple more times on your own. Lower your head, blink your eyes open, and lift your head, bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra. <sighs> Cleansing breath, all right. So if you are on your mat that you're using, roll that out, and then come onto your hands and knees. 
wrist directly under the shoulders, knees under the hips. As you inhale, start to look out, arching the back. Exhale, chin to chest, round the back. Push the shoulders up, up, up. Inhale, look out, chest forward. Exhale, round. Keep going, work with your breath. Inhaling to four. So the movement lasts four, exhale to four. And come back to neutral. Now for this one, we'll move into puppy dog pose or anahata pose. So keep your hips right above the knees, reach the hands out. So it's called anahata because it's really good for the heart chakra. So what you can start doing is melting down letting your forearms come down to the ground forehead can come down to the ground as well just really melting your upper back down towards the mat keep your hips above the knees not sitting back not coming forward Now use your abs, navel the spine, slowly come up to your hands and knees and bring your knees as wide as the mat and we'll move into thread the needle. So from here, start to thread your left arm under the right, bring your left shoulder and left side of the head down to the ground. Walk your right hand out a little bit and then push into the right hand to roll the right shoulder back. So opening up the chest. This is a good twist as well as shoulder stretch. If you need to feel more in the shoulder, push the bottom arm and hand into the ground. And think about pulling your upper back kind of back. It won't really move, but then you should feel more of a stretch. Make sure your head's down on something. If it can't come down to the ground, you can put a blanket or a block, whatever you have. And come back to center. Inhale. Exhale, other side. Right arm under, walk the left hand over a little bit, push open with the left hand. Push the back of the right arm and hand into the ground. Right side of the head on the ground or block. Breathe here, make sure you're not feeling any pain. And come back to center. Bring your knees back to center. Just take a breath. Okay, now swing your feet around. Come back to easy cross-legged position. Put your non-dominant leg in front. Pull the flesh away from the sitting bones. Come back to Lotus Mudra. I love myself. So this is a very gentle but nurturing practice that is actually helping you show yourself love. I love myself. Hands together, lower the head, blink the eyes open. All right, so now I want you to watch me do bridge pose before I have you lay back and do it. It's called Setu Bandha Sharvangasana. So we lay back, okay? Feet are, ankles are directly under the knees, knees parallel, arms by the sides, roll the shoulders under the back. Okay, and then you'll push into your feet and lift your hips. Now here, what we don't want is for the booty to hang down, which compresses the lower back. So watch here as I tuck my tailbone a little bit, bringing my pelvis into neutral. Okay, so that's what we're gonna try to do. So lay back, bend your knees, feet on the floor, ankles under the knees, knees and ankles hip width. Arms by your sides, roll the shoulders under the back. Push into all four corners of the feet, lift the hips up. Make sure your chest and your chin aren't touching. You wanna to have a little bit of space there so you can breathe. Okay, roll, 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 shoulders under. Now try to lengthen your tailbone. You might lower down a little bit, that's okay. Lengthen your tailbone, keep your knees parallel. See if you can unsqueeze the glutes. Sometimes they tend to clench, clench up here. I love myself. And then un bring your shoulders out from under your back, lower down. 
Bring your feet wide, knees together. Just place one hand on the belly, one hand on the solar plexus and breathe into the hands. Now, if you have a bun in your hair like I do, that kind of lifts the back of the head. So maybe take that out and probably be more comfortable and better on the neck. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Walk the feet back towards each other so that they're hip width. You can always place in a block in between the knees, the skinny way, so that you can make sure that you're about hip width. Arms by the sides, roll, roll shoulders under, push in all four corners of the feet, lift the hips. Make sure the chin isn't on the chest. Tuck the tailbone, just bring the pelvis into neutral. Relax the glutes and breathe. I love myself. See if, if you can bring the breath up towards the chest and expand in all directions. Rather than just expanding the belly, see if you can bring it up. You might hear my doggy too. He's really good at taking deep breaths. All right, now bring your shoulders out a little bit and then slowly lower down, feet wide, knees together, opposite hand on the belly, opposite hand then on the solar plexus and breathe here. I love myself. So when you yawn during your practice, that's okay. It might mean you're tired, but it might just be a movement of energy. And bring both knees in towards the chest. Give them a squeeze and then extend the legs up. Feet reaching up towards the sky. Knees bent a little bit. Arms by the sides. And bring the legs so that they're more over the torso a little bit so you're not using your abs so much to hold the legs up. Eyes can be closed. This is legs up the wall pose without the wall. Very nice calming pose. It's especially good if you are on your feet a lot during the day. Bring your knees in towards your chest. One more squeeze. You could even bring your forehead up towards your knees. And then extend Shavasana. <sighs> Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Completely let go and relax. If that felt really good, that pose we did first with the um, rolled up mat under your spine, feel free to do that again. Otherwise, just relax here. I don't blame you if you don't want to get up. Again, moving through the body slowly. Letting go of any tightness, tension, just let it go. Starting at the crown of the head, go slowly all the way down through the body. Enjoy these last few moments here in Shavasana. And 
deep in the breath. <sighs> and bring some movement back to the fingers and toes. Full body stretch, if that would feel good. It always does for me. Just waking the body back up. And then roll onto your right hand side and breathe here. Slowly push yourself up to seated. Head is the last thing to come up. Come to your easy cross-legged pose. Pull the flesh away from the sitting bones. Breathe here. Come back to Lotus Mudra at the heart. I love myself. Keep repeating that affirmation a few more times. Deep breaths, belly, low ribs, chest and upper back. Then exhale, reverse. Bring the hands back to Anjali Mudra. One ohm. Let's close our practice. Take a deep breath in. Ah. Bow your head. Bring your thumbs up to your third eye. Acknowledging the energy that's within you, around you, connects us all together and never goes away. That energy within me acknowledges the energy within you. And I thank you so very much for letting me guide you through your practice today. Namaste.